warmly welcome in our uh, premises here in the center of Vienna and uh, I'm really happy to host you here today. It's of course on behalf of the Secretariat, uh, introductory speaker said Janusz Kubacz, it's, it's institution, it's not me. Uh, but I'm really happy to greet you here uh, because here are so many uh, friends, Excellency um, and colleagues uh, from my past and current life, uh, professional life, uh, 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 which are uh, perfectly matching together. Because energy community, as you know, is uh, about integration. Integration of uh, EU and neighboring states, uh, especially Western Balkan 6, but also Ukraine, uh, Moldova and Georgia, uh, through a market integration. And uh, <coughs> uh, these countries represent so-called a key area, like EU, and have to follow exactly the same rules as EU member states in electricity market or gas market. Uh, and this is a perfect uh, example of an export of EU uh, model uh, by itself, uh, because uh, EU uh, is quite successful when cooperates inside itself, not so successful when it exports its foreign policy, but uh, in case when it exports its own model of cooperation, and this is the case of energy community, it is very successful. Uh, not to go uh, deeper in philosophy, uh, the, these are our countries, uh, this uh, yellow, and uh, future flow project is of a major importance for them. Because our contracting parties always look what is happening in e neighboring EU member states. Uh, and uh, uh, you uh, have to know that, or I, I'm sure you know, that once the uh, uh, majority of our contracting parties were in Yugoslavia, and Yugoslavia was already quite well functioning market, especially balancing market. And uh, when EU was trying to establish a balancing network code or to invent it, uh, some of the solutions were taken out of experience from ex-Yugoslavia. Because ex-Yugoslavia had six republics and it really had a functioning balancing market. Okay, it was a little bit different than nowadays, but uh, it functioned. Uh, uh, I will not go through a presentation of energy community. Uh, but uh, the organizers of today's event uh, named or titled my uh, presentation as an uh, uh, overview of where EU stands. I will not talk that much about EU, uh, but allow me to... Uh, I, of course, stole two um, power, uh, slides from Commission from last week uh, uh, to present you where EU stands currently. So, you see that majority of EU is already coupled. Uh, uh, their head market, uh, markets are coupled. Uh, these orange countries, so Czech Republic, Slovakia, Hungary, Romania, will couple very soon. Uh, the rest uh, is still uh, waiting for its... Uh, uh, for its... Uh, uh, liberalization, I will say. Uh, but uh, uh, despite that, uh, no matter uh, what, uh, the, the trend is coming closer and closer to energy community contracting parties. Uh, the same happens with uh, intraday market integration. Uh, Xbyte uh, platform uh, is uh, already operational, you see, in these orange countries, and it will very soon be uh, also in all these red countries. Uh, and our contracting parties are an island which will be, I hope, covered soon. <coughs> in our contracting parties, you see that only Serbia has um, currently power exchange. All other Western Balkan contracting parties are still, uh, don't have uh, their head market. Uh, uh, but uh, good news is that Montenegro, North Macedonia and Albania are also in a process of establishment of uh, their head market. Uh, 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 power exchange. Uh, and uh, we also launched an imbalance netting platform. Um, this uh, picture is very simple, of course, uh, so you can uh, easily recognize all the details, uh, but uh, um, with a little bit of a joke. And uh, what I wanted to show you is this number. 
16 million euros on an annual basis if imbalanced netting would be introduced in energy, Western Balkan six uh, uh, energy community contracting parties, uh, they would benefit or the savings would be 16 million euros annually. Uh, so there is a lot of uh, business opportunities for future flow export <laughs> uh, to Western Balkans, uh, but I believe also beyond. In general, uh, uh, on top of what Uros said in his introductory speech, we all know that renewables are um, uh, uh, coming, uh, that uh, they are in, uh, that the electricity from them is. Um, uh, not uh, very stable. Uh, uh, this trend is coming also in our contracting parties. For example, only in last year um, uh, the uh, renewables capacity increased by 20%. Uh, for example, in Serbia uh, they commissioned 500 megawatts of wind uh, turbines. This is already substantial for the whole region. Uh, in 2023 uh, also, Uros mentioned it, but uh, this uh, large combustion plants directive and the uh, lowering of emissions in Western Balkans, six, five countries, uh, Albania doesn't have any coal, 1000 megawatts of coal power plants will have to be shut down. Uh, the first one which uh, was opted out will be Pleuga in Montenegro next year, which has uh, which uh, provides 50% of all electricity produced in Montenegro. So you can imagine the challenges this brings, uh, <coughs> this process brings. Uh, and of course, all this will have an enormous effect on balancing. Uh, but currently, in, at least in our Western Balkan uh, six contracting parties, only three countries have balancing markets. These are Bosnia and Herzegovina, Montenegro, and uh, Serbia. Uh, and uh, serious competition is only in Bosnia and Herzegovina, where there are um, four uh, incumbent companies competing with each other. Uh, the, uh, uh, all these challenges uh, will, of course, uh, cannot be solved only through engagement of electricity generators. Uh, uh, and not only through installment of batteries, uh, but of course also through engagement of uh, consumers. And this is what Future Flow project offers. Uh, uh, it is uh, one stone, not small, it's a, a stone <laughs> in the mosaic of uh, uh, answering on uh, challenges of. Uh, uh, imbalance netting uh, in or imbalance uh, uh, settlement uh, in the region and uh, I hope that uh, uh, also on the territory of the energy community contracting parties we will have a future flow very soon as a today's flow uh, something uh, a reality uh, which uh, will improve everyday life of uh, electricity consumers of our citizens uh, and uh, of the future generations because this is the only possible answer on challenges that climate changes are bringing with. Thanks for coming here, thanks for sharing your knowledge uh, uh, and uh, I hope that uh, this will um, uh, bring uh, uh, fruitful cooperation also between uh, EU TSOs and our transmission system operators. We invited also all our uh, transmission system operators from Western Balkans today. Not all of them are here, but many are. And uh, I hope, as I said, that future flow will be today's flow very soon for all of us. Thanks a lot.